Hey there, I'm Jessica Altieri of Wine Channel TV and welcome to Sip Some Austria where wine is just the beginning of the story. Today I'm at beautiful Windsor Krems joined by Ludwig. Great to see you, thank you for having me. Thank you, uh, you're welcome Jessica, Prost. <laughs> Ludwig, we have had such a great time here today. You've taken me on a tour all around Windsor Krems. It seems like there's such a rich history. Tell me about the history. Yeah, it's a great history in, in, in Austria and in the area. We have uh, more than 2,000 years of, of history of wine production, so the Romans have been here already. Uh, but for us, for Windsor Krems in particular, it's, it's really the Middle Ages. Yeah? We have a, a document where it's mentioned first in 1447. 1447. That, yes, that a, a wine growers guild of, of in Krems existed and they exist up to now. It's the base of Windsor Krems. And Ludwig, so I know it's a cooperative. Tell me about this. Yes, we are uh, more than 900 producers, yeah. A lot of small wine growers, um, are retired people, but also people like me. I have a profession, I sell the wine uh, as a hobby on the weekend. I have half a hectare on my own and I produce grapes there. Oh, that's wonderful. And so you've taken me on the tour yes. throughout Windsor Crimes. I call it almost Hollywood. Tell me about the tour that we just went on. I know you have 30,000 tourists yes. a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of visitors and uh, we created this tour more than 10 years ago. And the idea behind is to give really all the people, uh, interested people in Windsor Crimes wines a chance to visit us and to see behind the scenes, to see what's going on, to learn about wine production and to ask questions yeah, about the quality and how it's done. That's yeah, important. we started in one magnificent room with the map uh, to show us the area of Windsor Crumbs, where we're at, and then yes. you took us through the cellar mm -hmm. where there were mm -hmm. ghosts that popped up and told mm -hmm. us more about the history, and then we finished in the amazing 3D theater where we had to put on the glasses and had the aromas blasted mm -hmm. at us mm -hmm. about the wines, like your Gruner. Speaking of the wine, I think we should head inside, sip some of the wine, and try some of your local Perfect. cuisine. What do yes. you say? Uh, Prost! You're welcome, Prost! <laughs> And now we're in this legendary cellar. Tell me about where we're at. Uh, we think it's it's a perfect place to keep these old cellars, at least for, for aging, for storing wine. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, That's not a big history in Austria, but a big tradition of Winter Krems to keep our wines for 10 or 20 years to make it really perfect. And this is maybe one of the best examples we could have. Which yeah, I'm drinking the, today, one of your Gruners. Yeah, it's the Krems of Achberg. It's the best uh, the best place in the town right. uh, for, for Gruner Vetlina. And we keep this wine. We have uh, we have wines from the Wachberg uh, in this cellar for all 30, 40 years old. 30, 40 years that's, old. That's it really. It's for a dry fruity white wine. It's a big exception. Yeah? It's maybe it's unique in the world, we think. Yeah. And this is the 2015, uh, so the most newest vintage, but we will have it here for the next 30 years, hopefully. Yes, it um, has the nice, crisp and refreshing hints yes. of almost, it's, it's uh, mm -hmm. the lime, lemon, green apple yes, you get as well in there. Uh, so you mm -hmm. would need something mm -hmm. a little bit strong, I think, that you could pair up with this. What would yeah. be typical Austrian oh, dish? Oh, this is, the, this wine is really, Grüner uh, Lina, this very universal, yeah? It yes. works with, it works with Wiener Schnitzel, with the That's traditional what I was thinking when cuisine. I said strong, oh, I want my Wiener Schnitzel to go with this. Definitely a perfect companion for the Wiener Schnitzel, but also for, for the for the great uh, food in the world. Yeah, for, right, for, um, many different types many of different dishes things. as well. That's, it. That's, That's it. what I like, it's yes. very versatile. What would be a perfect pairing at your house if I'm going to come over? What would you be cooking? Do you cook a lot? Uh, I'm not so your much in cooking. I'm, it's more my wife. I'm in the vineyard. Yeah, I'm responsible <laughs> for the grapes and for the wine. That's, that's my job. Yeah. Okay, that okay. sounds good. I like that. We'll have okay. to get you a glass. Well, thank you yeah, so much for having okay. me. It's been wonderful. So here we are, Windsor Crims. Ludwig, we've had such a fantastic day. You took me on the most amazing tour, first of your facilities. We saw the cellar, and now, finally, we're enjoying some of your amazing wine, and we have some food. But first, tell people about your role here as the export manager. Yes, uh, export is, is important for us. Yeah? We mm -hmm. want to uh, bring our, our wines, especially the Gruner Vetlina, uh, to the world. Yeah, Not keep it only in Austria yes. and enjoy people in the US, for example. Right. Yes. Oh, yes. And so some of the wines that you export are two mm -hmm. that we have here today. Tell me about yes. the two wines that we have here. So one of the most important for us is, uh, is for sure is the Crimson Sandgrube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in your glass this moment. And that's maybe the most typical uh, Gruner Vetlina uh, style we have in Austria. It's really, it's fruity, it's peppery, it's zesty, and uh, it's 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 the representative of Austrian wine, we would say. Oh yeah. yeah. You see? It's very yeah. crisp and refreshing. You get that bright lemon, mm. lime, a little mm. bit of grapefruit, mm. green apple, and that hint of white pepper there on the palate as well. Yeah. 
This I would think would be great with Wiener Schnitzel here yes. or back home in, in the States Perfect. with some grilled chicken, a nice salad. Yes. But we also have, tell me about the second wine that we have here. Yeah, the other grape we have, and this is uh, important as well, is the Blauer Zweigl. Uh, it's an it's a Austrian grape, um, started to be welcome about 30 years ago. Uh, it's as the Grüner Vitlina, a very fruity red wine style. And uh, as you will see, this is, uh, it, it tastes, um, Taste is maybe sour cherry uh, as a comparison, mm. and it's uh, it's it's very fruity, and it's maybe a perfect match uh, with a burger. For example. Oh yeah, yes. it has that huh? nice deep, yes, rich, dark cherry, dark black berry notes on the palate. This would be a killer earthy pairing with the burger mm. and the bacon on there too. I, I like agree. this. <laughs> now we have to I dig agree. in. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for a fantastic day. Where can people find out more information online on your website? Yes, we have a lot of information on the website. We have sources for our wines on the website. Uh, so Total Wine is uh, our most important partner in the US. And he carries the Grüner Vitlina and the Blauer Zweigl. And uh, it's, it's a perfect business for us. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having You're me welcome. here today. Thank you. Until next time, I'm Jess Jess, reminding you that wine is just a conversation waiting to happen. Prost. Cheers. Prost. Thank you.